this presentation, you will learn about the course format and the course expectations. We will explain how due dates will work. And then finally, you'll learn how to maintain contact with your course facilitators for support or questions. As you work through the course, continue to reflect on our essential question. How can we use our knowledge of standards to build a balanced approach to assessment? This course focuses on strategies teachers use to clearly communicate learning expectations to their students. This course is divided into five modules. You will work independently on each module and reflect on your learning through journaling and interacting with your facilitator. You've already accessed our Schoology course. Click on Materials to access all of your learning. All of your learning is organized into modules. There is one intro and five learning modules. Each module contains a reading for new learning, an application task, and a reflection on your learning. Participants will complete each reading and assignment in the module and receive a complete status when they view or submit. A point will be given for each assignment that meets task criteria. To check your progress, there are a few things you can do. The first is to go to your grades, which you can access on the left side of your screen. Here, you will see all of the scores that you received for completed assignments. You will also see any feedback provided by your facilitator. If you received a score of zero out of one, you will be required, required to complete, or you will be required to revise the assignment. Another way to check your progress is to access the assignment and look at student progress. This will tell you if you've completed your assignments. It will show you a percentage of what you've completed and what you still have to complete in order to make sure that you've met all of the expectations for the course. Reflection statements and discussion posts will have a word count requirement. Word counts are reminders to push your thinking beyond the initial surface thoughts on a topic. In addition, word counts remind you to be concise in your communication. You're not writing a dissertation. Of course, quality is more important than quantity. Word counts are guidelines. No one will be penalized for being a few words above or a few words below the range. But responses that are significantly below the word count requirement will receive a score of zero and you will be asked to revise. We really want you to have your best chance at making your thinking visible. This will take your learning deeper. If you're struggling to meet the word count requirement, these prompts may be useful in supporting your reflection. We will use these course norms to provide a productive learning experience. We hope you will challenge yourself to apply your learning to your real world work. This course should take approximately 15 hours to complete. And with the exception of the intro module, you will be allowed to set your own pace. If you find that you're spending much more time than this to complete the readings and assignments, contact your course facilitator to problem solve. Please contact your instructor prior to due dates if you are concerned about completing assignments on time. Please contact us at any time so that you feel successful in this course. You can email us or you can send us a message directly through Schoology by clicking on the little envelope icon in the top right corner of your screen. You've got this. We know you are going to learn so much about balancing your assessments, and we are so excited to join you on this journey. Let us know at any time how we can help.